in the life of product development, things do not always go easily. This might be a surprise to you, but those of us in the biz know that that's what happens. And that did happen to the Crafter's Companion, you know, the folks who make the Spectrum Nor pens. Right. They wanted to develop some colored pencils. It took about two years to get these to market. As a matter of fact, they wanted to bring the market a full year before it happened, mm -hmm. but the quality just wasn't there, so they stopped production. So yay for them. <laughs> and now we're going to be showing you these. <laughs> so these are very high quality, blendable colored pencils. They are just fabulous. They have vibrant results when you use them. They're great in combination with the Spectrum Noir pens as well. And we're going to show that. Right. And <laughs> Teresa loves them. We love them. And we know that you're going to love them too. Sound interesting? Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here are the five kits. Now, they each come in a metal tin, and the titles are, let's see. Are primaries, mm -hmm. floral, marine. And the essentials, and then nature. So each of those are grouped into color patterns that fit those particular descriptions. Okay. They all come with, uh, well, here you are. Um, how many are in each set? There are 24, I think, in each set. 24 in each set, and they are generally yes. grouped in sets of three colors that go together so that you can get a combination of colors that will go from light to dark and give you a really 3D effect okay. in your coloring. And these are the ones that you've been using, so that's right. why some are so shorter some than are others. Shorter. They're they all don't numbered. come that way. They're also <laughs> numbered so that you can keep them together by number. And I would suggest keeping them in the case, it's a protective case, instead of putting them, for instance, in a jar or something because they have a soft waxy core that can break if you bang them around too much. Oh, okay. So you get the you get the container right. plus they're nice and right. slender. But it's so. that softness that allows them to okay. be so blendable. So that's a good point. Okay. To keep them. So okay. what we're going to do is to show we are going to show how to do this. Gail's going to show you how to do this. And here is uh, one card. Now, um, don't get too in love with her and this, because those are actually part of our January paper wishes. We've been working on that. But I just wanted to show you, this has been colored in using um, a brand new stamp that we don't have yet, but we will in January. <laughs> and um, just with the pencils, right? Just with the pencils. Okay. And the two kits that were used in this were these two kits. It was marine and floral. So I, I do kind of want to show you that, and they do come with this nice little packaging that keeps them safe. So you've got lots of reds and pinks and yellows in here. You've got lots of blues and browns. And so I use those in combination for what you saw on that stamp. So let's bring that in. Okay. And in this particular example, all I did was use the pencils to go ahead and lay some color down and get uh, the color that I wanted. And then I used some tools called uh, the stump, these paper stumps. Looks like this. Yes, these are from Spectrum Noir also. These tools that you're going to be seeing, paper stumps. We use a paper sander so that we can sand the paper stumps. And we have uh, this blending solution that's used with the paper stumps to blend the colors together. And I'm going to show you how we do all that. And a pencil sharpener, and which you'll talk about in a minute. Okay. Which I will. Okay. So I have uh, something that's stamped here. So let's just, well, actually, should we go back to this first? I, what I wanted to point out is the vibrancy of the color. I mean, here it's just blended together with those paper stumps. We're not using pens or anything else. It's just the colors. But it's really easy to blend them together and still get a really vibrant pop of color. And that's something that Debbie has said is that um, she she really likes the intensity of the color that you get right. with just the pencils mm -hmm. themselves. So you're going to you're going to do some for us. I am. <laughs> okay. I've got three of the pencils. This these are from the marine set, and I've got three colors that are going from dark to light. And then I've got a stamped image here. So I stamped this in Memento. And one of the things, one of the other things I want to mention is the type of cardstock that you use. I'm just using a basic, a classic white cardstock because it's got something that we call a little bit of a tooth to it. So that it's okay. not so super smooth. 
Super smooth would be like a ultra smooth or something like that, which is great for Spectrum Noir pens. And it's good for these pencils, but the white cardstock is better because it gives something more for the pencil to oh, hold really? on to. Interesting. So I'm going to start with the dark. And one of the points that we've learned is to give light pressure. And that's the number one, the key to um, putting, to uh, get vibrant color is to start with very light pressure and lay down very light layers first. I have to tell you, my first thought would have been to color it dark. Right. <laughs> so we talked about the tooth of the paper. If I were to start, and I'll start over here, if I were to just start going like that, mm -hmm. that's as dark as I would ever get that because I've just damaged the tooth of the paper. I pushed it down, I put on oh. this heavy wax coating and I can't get any more on top of there. If I do it in a light layer, and I just kind of keep working on it, laying down lighter la light layers, light layers, then eventually I start applying more pressure, and the more pressure you get, the darker you can get with your color. It's just, mm. I just keep working on it until you see like very dusty specks like that, and that means hey, I'm not taking any more color, it's just going off. And once you get oh. to that point, we're calling it burnishing when you get to the end of it then it, it just gets to be more color there for you to move around later. So, so when you want to blend it? Right. Yeah, okay. So you just keep layering down color like this. And, and I'm, um, I'm going to do just what I did over there. I would just lightly keep laying down layers and until it gets darker and darker. Once I go to the next pen, I'm going to overlap a pencil, pencil. overlap <laughs> a little bit and uh, start bringing it down a little further. So there's gonna be a little bit of a different color. I'm only gonna do a little bit of what you can see here, but just keep laying down and laying down and getting more color. I'm going on top of the other one. Don't worry about blending together when you're just using the pencils. If you're planning on use the, using the blending solution, you don't have to worry about blending it together. You and yet I don't see a line, a de demarcation line True. of the two colors. It's, so it, they're, they're so close it in does, color. And, yeah. right, and so then the last color in, in, this, uh, is in this series that I'm using is this light color. And I'm just going to keep blending it in. I'm going maybe even a little quicker than I would normally. I'm trying to get that color down quickly for you. But you just keep layers, just light layers on top of each other. Mm. It also makes it so you don't break the pencil, you know, if you're working too hard with it. And then, and then harder and harder until you're burnishing it into that paper. You see that dust, yeah. and that tells you, well, I'm not really taking any more color. So I did this with this one already. So that one's all pretty okay. well ready to go. And I'll move the pencils aside. Now I'm going to get out my blending solution and a paper stump, and they come, those paper stumps, in um, different sizes. Yeah, here's the package, right. so you can see that and there's all of these four different or seven sizes. of them. Right, so you can use one that's a, <clears throat> with a little more detail, those, those tinier ends. And the reason that you have this sandpaper, and, and it's several, it, it's lots of little pieces of sandpaper that are put together, and artists are pretty familiar with this for sharpening a pencil lead, but it's also great for removing the color from those, um, oh. from those. So once you use it, you have to get that off and get it back to gray and get the dust off there and do it again. So that's how you clean off your paper stump, have it ready for a different color entirely. And you can get it pretty pointy like that. Or you can use the other end, either way. And then you take the blending solution. And generally, I'll just put this on a sponge so I can dab it off the sponge, which is what I did here. I just happened to actually put it in a little container that I had so it would keep it <laughs> for a little while. I just have somewhere to put it. So you put the paper stump on there. Now that's got blending solution in it. That has blending solution okay. on it. I went ahead and I poured <clears throat> that on there. So there is some blending solution. You can see that because it changed the color. It picked that right up. And now with my pencils there, I'm going to start from dark to light and start pulling that color and blending it. And you can see it right away. What it does is it removes the wax, picks up the wax mm. and blends the colors together. And look how yeah. smooth that is when, when you're done. It just, to me, So it that's pops. why you didn't have to worry about blending it when you were laying down the right. color because you're going to go over it with the it blending solution. It all just gets blended with the blending solution. Pretty and you smooth. can see it's just pretty smooth and it just, they're a gorgeous look. If you feel like after you're done, I'm going to pick this, it's kind of shiny there. 
If you feel like when you're done that you need some more color, you can just go right back over it again. So a lot of the wax was removed by the paper stump, so now there's room to put down another layer of color. You can start adding another layer of color if you want to, if you need it to be darker. I thought it was pretty good the way it was, yeah. but, but I did too. Can, but you can, you can get it, you can get it so vibrant just by adding a little bit more. Now that's just with the pencils, the blending solution and a paper stump to move that around. And that's how it's done. Okay. And I, I just love that it's so it's such a clean, I mean there aren't any lines in there. It's just perfectly blended and it's just a, a very beautiful look. It's fun. It's different than the watercolor pencils like we were saying because with the watercolors now I would have put down the the pencil work and then I would have used a paint, a paint brush and a little bit of water and blended them together. It would have been beautiful. It would have blended together. But it also would have lightened up those colors a right. little bit. Right. This makes those colors pop. You know, what's interesting is that there's even a term for doing this, and it's called a colorist. Right. And okay. we Googled it, actually, uh -huh. last night. And these pencils, the Spectrum Nor pencils, come up as a search term for colors. Oh, colors. Yeah, so that, amazing? I thought yeah. that was kind of fun. This was just very new and exciting for us to have something yeah. so bright. I would like to show you really quickly some of the samples that I did so that on, on white cardstock, like I was saying, like, like you just saw, it's bright in here, but um, the pencils, if you just use the pencils, here's what it looks like. I'm going to sort of turn it so maybe you can... If you're just using the pencils, here they are in combination with using nothing else, and I, I blended them as so I went along. So these are the three? The three pencils. Okay. And then with, uh, with the pencils and then using the stump with the blending solution, I blended them together. Okay. And so that's the, the difference between, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice difference. It's so fine. And it's just on regular cardstock. And then there's a sample of pens being laid down and then the pencils being laid down on top of them. So those are the three ways ah. that you're going to see us using them. And uh, to me, that's just, you can see the difference between that All and right. that is wonderful. But I also wanted to point out that while that's on white cardstock, this is on ultra smooth paper. And I felt that the vibrancy on cardstock was just a little bit more. Mm, so because it has more tooth, and that's the same sort of sample, that's, but also it can be done on black cardstock, and these were these were laid down in color and then blended together. Now these are just the pencils. Just the pencils. No, I think I blended them too. Okay. It, it, it tends to. It's a little bit. You know, you're going to see some of the dark come through. Yeah. But this is great because you can come up. There's white in one of these sets, I think, in the essentials, and you can do a chalkboard effect on ah. these, which would be amazing. So the idea of using the pencils in combination with the pens right. adds even more vibrancy, yeah. as you can see right here. Wow. <laughs> Very wow. <laughs> now, this is a card topper. So this is the Wing Things card topper, and you can see now all of the black is the uh, raised image, and that will resist any mm -hmm. color. And then uh, you have done the coloring within. So you're going to show us right, a little that bit, bit of magic. That. So that is, <laughs> it works fantastically with the Color Me, with the card toppers. But this isn't just Color Me. Have you also, mm -hmm. we used the small stamp, and so that was stamped and embossed. And here is the Be Happy stamp. Right. Which is essentially the same as right. the Color Me. It's and the same image. So some, some, you're seeing these, these little bees that are sitting up on top of everything there. Those were each individually done in the same way that it, we did the Color Me. And what I loved about doing this is the, the effect that you can get with all of these darker colors around the edges and then blending together. And don't be afraid, afraid to use some darker colors that aren't green. I mean, I added some brown in there and it just really uh, makes an interesting effect. So I have the Color Me paper here and I went ahead and colored in with the Spectrum Noir. Oh, okay. There's such there's such a difference. It is it is bright, and I love coloring in with Spectrum Noir. You get wonderful results. But to be able to make that even brighter is just is great fun. <laughs> um, I didn't talk yet about the uh, pencil sharpener. This is the one that Spectrum Noir uh, suggests using with these pens, and and I agree with them because of the construction. When you when you sharpen one of these pencils, just make sure that you turn the pencil sharpener 
and not the pencil, oh. and you have less likelihood of breaking your lead if you do it that way. That's what's suggested anyway. So I've got one of the darker reds here, and I start right on top of that already blended together Spectrum Noir, and I just laid down layers. In fact, so I again, used, these are the pens. These are the pens only, and I used from the from yellows the yellow set and, and the greens whoops. and the reds. Yeah, okay. they're all three. <laughs> I did the greens on the outer. Most oh, people okay. have an assortment of Spectrum Noir pens, I think, yeah. by now. Most, not everybody. <laughs> but, <laughs> so three different sets, <clears throat> and I use them. I'm going to try to get the ends so that you can see. I use them sort of in this order. So I went mm. from a dark to orange to a lighter so that I could really get the effect that you see here. And that's the same thing I'm going to do with the pencils. And I'm starting down at the bottom with this red. Um, I'm starting lightly. Even lightly, you can see a difference yeah. right away. But, and I'm also sort of going to go different directions so I can really get that laid down. And as I'm getting closer, to get it colored, I really start putting pressure on it. So the different directions also allows you to place more color. It place more like. color. Okay. The, the tooth is changing. It's going in different directions as I'm doing it. And you can see that dust. That tells me I'm pretty much that's all I'm going to be able to get on there. <laughs> all done. A little bit of red here. And then I'm going to move into a lighter red and transition. And I'm going to go right, I'm going to go right on top of that red I just did and then move out a little bit. Then I'm going to move to an orange. And I'm getting these from the floral set right now. All of the reds that you're seeing are from the floral set. The other set that was used here was actually the marine set. It does have some greens and blues that were used together. And let's see. Wait a minute. No, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. I used, I said that wrong. So the other card that we saw. I used the marines and the floral set. Right. And on this set, I actually used the the primaries. Oh, thank Gail. The essentials. <laughs> <laughs> the th well, the you changed. Okay. I, so I used the essentials. That was okay. that was the other one. Not the one. primaries. Not the primaries. <laughs> the essentials. And guess what? The directions are in the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> So it, no, Why that's you, not right. That's not right. I think either. you used the primaries. No, I think you're right. Yeah, that's what you said earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's this one with this big, beautiful red flower on it. Those there are the go. primaries, and there I got a little muddled. There we go. So you can see all of the yellows and the reds and the greens. They're all right here. So are you are you saying the floral? <laughs> No, you're, so you're saying the primaries is what you used here? The primaries okay. is what I used with this card. So gotcha. just one set. Okay. And then the three uh, Spectrum Noir sets that you saw. Okay. The first card that we saw took two different um, pen sets. Right. And so anyway, I did the red, and I want to make it even a little bit darker on the bottom there, add a little bit. Don't be afraid to add the darks. That's what, something I learned from the DVD we'll be talking about in a little while. <laughs> and. Um, then we start with the orange and start adding some of the orange in. Okay. A little bit there. So starting light and then really adding pressure. And I think that blending really sets the difference between um, an okay piece and a piece that has more life to it. Right. And that's the trickiest part, right. <laughs> I think. Right. Although, see, it's not important to blend, remember, right. with the pencil. But you can see the difference. Can you, can you see how much brighter yeah. it is already? Just putting the pencil down on top of those yeah. pens, it really adds something. And, and it did all the way more. through. Right. I did it all on the, um, the wings, too. I added a little bit darker here and a little lighter out there. And I would do that with the pencils, too. Am I seeing I'm not some gonna... orange in the center yeah, of the a wings? Very, a very yeah. light orange. You can highlight the edges here. Nice. And then I would go in with those orange pencils. And I would add that in just a little bit there. You don't have to blend it too much because the blending solution is going to take care of that. So just to lay down the color right. is what you're doing. Just laying down the color, and then I would okay. as well do this. So that's the same. Oh, I sort of, I started, I abandoned my light and started pushing hard. <laughs> and I remember I didn't want to do that. But um, OK, I think we've got enough to play with here. So remember, that was all from the primary set, right. one set that I used. And then I get out my blending solution. 
and a paper stub, and I'm going to use okay, one of these here and start moving it around. This has already got quite a bit of solution on it, so I don't need to add any more. And I've got the clean end of the stump here, so I don't have to sand it at the moment. Pick up solution, which you can see. Always go from dark to light. So I'm going to start from there and move. And it just, to me, that just, it just pops right out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, let's see, me too. I also have a habit of going back to that solution pretty frequently and wiping that off if I don't want the red on the next part. So, so you don't have to um, sand it off? Right, quite as often. Okay. Right. And you can just see that blending together. Can you see that? Wow. Look at yes. that. Okay, now look yes. at that yellow and that yellow. Right. That's the same right. yellow. <laughs> but the intensity is very different. Right. Yes. And you just, and I always start with the dark and pull it out to the light. Good to know. And I think you get the idea okay. of the difference. Let me go back to the finished project and you can see adding that green. And this is what I mean by the uh, shadowing, how it's darker around the edges and lighter in the middle. It just it would be pretty as just a solid green, but mm -hmm. it's just an extra level when it gets that variation of color. Right. And you can see the blending that was done around the Be Happy. Right. Just quite lovely. I do want to point out, while embossing uh, the black, em embossing these bees is technically the same oh, thing using as the color stamp. me. Uh -huh. Right. Um, when you work around the embossing powder with the blending solution, it tends to want to pick it up a little bit. Oh, does it? And so, and I, I've experienced that with uh, Spectre Noir pens just a little bit too. Okay. So just be careful to sort of, you don't want to go over the black a lot because the black might get into your, your, um, uh, the colors a okay. little bit, but and it, that didn't it wasn't happen, a problem. Didn't anything. happen with the color. It really main. didn't happen okay. with the color. So main. it's because yeah. it's a different process. Right. So you did the right. uh, heat embossing right. with the stamp. Right. Okay. Also, this has these wonderful little rhinestones that I I use something that we no longer carry, but we do have other <laughs> options. We do. <laughs> we do carry the silver baby bling. Right. which would be a great option for that, and you can just sort of decorate that yeah. in any way. We also have some other some options. Those, black. And yeah, some. the black would work too. It's a little harder to see, yeah. but it has those nice swirls. And we'll be getting more in, so, that's, so that works okay. nicely. <laughs> so, and you have another demo, right? I, actually, if you could pop it open, I'd kind of like to show you. Which? Uh, another demo after the card. Pop what open? The card. The card. Oh, you did the inside. <laughs> oh. Sure. Oh, oh, fun! <laughs> so okay. in this part, I just did the a little bit on the outside, just a little bit of the oh, pens. Oh, so and just, this kind of glowing. Right, and I just kind of kept blending outward with those pencils <laughs> to get that real <laughs> halo effect. You can get that little halo effect on lots of things. Oh, of right, right. So. Beautiful look. Yeah. Okay, very fun as it goes diving off the edge right. of the card. I just, it's, they're so fun to play with that I just kind of wanted to show you. This is from our Paper Dolls stamp set. And so I did, what I did was stamped in memento. You can use stays on, you can use whatever you want. I, I think something more like a stays on would be better than a fluid chalk ink because mm -hmm. it would be less likely for the solution to make it bleed. And then I colored it in with uh, this, these are from the lights set, the Spectrum Noir lights. Oh, these are the pens. Okay. Right, the pens. I graduated it down. And then I took the pencils. This is just the pencils added on top without being blended together. This is from the Essentials set, for sure. <laughs> essentials or primaries? The Essentials. Okay. It's got lots of pinks. <laughs> I can prove it. There's lots of pinks <laughs> ah, and C and, and nice grays see. And, okay. and whatnot. And it has flesh tones in there or whatever, you know. Okay. So, so that's with just that added on without it being blended at all, which I like. And if you like that pencil sort of a stroke look, that's kind of a neat look. But then again, you can add the blending solution and the paper stamp and just to sort of see a little wow, it's kind of fun. Make sure you can see it too. And blend it down in long strokes. That's oh. always the best idea. And we get it all the way down. Now I have to confess, I, I'm not a fan of the pencil strokes. I like it okay. um, a bit more solid. Right. 
And well, it's so, pleasing to your eye that yeah. way. Sure, it's different for everybody. And, yeah. that's, and you can really do that. You can really just blend it together. I think that's just a fantastic look. Yeah. Nicely done. But how wonderful to see the difference. So bring in the other. Right. Yeah. So this is just with the, the which? Right. This pencil? is just with the pens. Okay. This part up here is just with the pencils, and so is that little purse there. And this is all blended together. Okay. So going that way. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. The other thing that Spectrum Noir has done is they have a DVD, which they very often do. Um, <clears throat> so some of the things that you've been sharing have come from here. Right. Uh, the one thing that the DVD talks about is having a blending pencil. Well, that didn't quite work, <laughs> so <laughs> that is not available. So I just don't want you to be um, kind of surprised right. or wondering right. what's going on with it's, that. It didn't work for them. It, it didn't. It's not yeah. available uh, through them. So right. So right. as a manufacturing process, they weren't satisfied right. with it. So even though it is talked about in the DVD, it is is not. Mm -hmm. So and that's just the blending pencil. Right. They do talk about blending Spectrum Noir pens. Right. Blending the pencils and using the blending solution and combining them like we've been talking right. about. And they have lots of downloads that I wanted to show you. They have downloads like this that show you this is the complete range of their color chart and what they look like. And uh, then if we can back out a little bit, uh, we also have each for each set. So they show you the colors so you can color these, you can test the colors. So I thought that was kind of a handy thing to have. Mm -hmm. They also show what it looks like before and after with the pens. So some of the, the images that you see on the covers of the boxes you see here, this was done just with Spectrum Noir pens. And then after adding the pencils to it and wow. blending it. I know, it's just, it's just amazing. Pretty That's, dramatic. It's very dramatic. That's one example. Here's another one of a big, large, beautiful butterfly. And that looks fine. And that that's, does look you fine. Know, that's, that's lovely. That's gorgeous. That's the pens only. And then you add the pencils. Right. And it's 3D. I mean, the you, depth. You, yeah, yeah, the depth is what you get. You're getting this beautiful, wonderful depth. They also mentioned that they can be used on other surfaces. And here's a sample of it being used on canvas. You can also use it on vellum. I went ahead and tried it on vellum, and it blends very nicely with the pencils. So that's something you, you know, can stamp on there this, and blend. It would also be fun to do a dazzle, place a dazzle, oh, yeah. and then color within it so you get kind of a stained glass sure, look. Very sure. pretty. That's pretty on there, too. <laughs> and the other neat thing that it has is lots of different ways to use it and te techniques that you can use when blending the pencils and creating skies and landscapes. So I really like that one. And that would be neat with film. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fireworks. And anyway, so lots of different ways okay. of using these pens. And that's all contained within that DVD. It's a very well right. put together DVD. So here's the deal. We have new toys, folks. And <laughs> you can use them by themselves, uh, as you've been demonstrating. And they're beautiful. And as we showed here, or you can combine them with your Spectrum Noir pens right. and create an intense color with lots of blending options. And then you saw all the various all of the wonderful extra tools pieces. that right. help you get through the process. And these are just great fun to play with. We yes. are having a lot of fun, yes. and I'm sure you will too. <laughs>